Uh, not as just a team, but as individuals. My uh, my sophomore year, I was lucky enough, I got to the section finals, which was a big deal back then, at 177, and I got beat by the state champ. And I came back my junior year, and I was a little full of myself, and uh, probably wasn't doing what I needed to do to be successful, and I dropped three or four matches before Christmas. And one day, he just came in the wrestling room and went up one side of me and down the other and back again. and. Uh, Kind of explained to me the way the world was and what some of my shortcomings were. And it was amazing. That next day, I'm running three, four, five miles a day. I'm lifting, running home after practice, doing all this extra stuff. And it's no, no, no mistake, by the end of the year, I beat all those guys that had beaten me early in the year. And he had a very, um, he could be honest with you. He could be real with you. And you believed him. You know, he was like having another father. You know, he'd tell you what you needed to be told, and, and, and you respected that, and we all respected what he said. And, uh, you know, he tried to make us better people, better individuals, and obviously we became better wrestlers because of him. And, uh, you know, very lucky to have had him in my life.